Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. In this tutorial we are discussing about a program so that is how to check whether the entered string or number is palindrome or not. So before that we need to know what is palindrome means. So palindrome is nothing but a word or sequence that reads the same backwards as forwards. So that's nothing but a string is called as palindrome when it reads same from forward and backward. The entered string as well as the reverse string is same. For example, if I write a word called madam, so if I read it from here, it will read madam. If I read it from here, this also reads as madam, right? M A D A M. So another example is this one to one. Okay. It will read one to one from here. It will read one to one from here also. Okay. So if a word or sequence reads same from backwards as well as forward, then it is called as palindrome. Okay. So then how to write the program for this? So to write the program, we need to follow three steps. So first step is we need to take the input. Okay. So we can take the input from the user or we can directly take it. Second step is after taking the input, we need to reverse the input. Okay, we need to reverse the input. Third step is we need to compare this input and the reverse input. Okay, so input versus reverse input input if both are same then the enter string or a number is palindrome if not it is not a palindrome okay so now we'll write the program so in the python file first step is we need to take the input so here we'll take the input from the user and first here we are writing the program to check whether the entered string is palindrome or not so Here you can take a variable and you, you can directly take string like this or you can use input function. You can ask the user to enter the string. Here we want string input. That's why here I took just input function. In Python 3, by default, this input function will take input as the string value. Okay. So if you are using Python 2, then you need to use raw input here. Right. So done with the first step that is the taking the input. And the second step is we need to reverse the entered input. Okay. I already uploaded a video on reversing the string. And in that we use mathematical operation to reverse the string. But here I will use advanced slicing. Okay. And I will reverse the string. So now I'll take a variable called reverse string. You can take any name. Okay. So next, now I want to reverse the string. So for that, as I said, I'll use slicing method. So then we need to know about the slicing, right? So slicing or slice this is the string method if i want to get a substring from the string then i can use this slice method okay so the syntax is here i need to mention the string name all right so here square bracket next here i need to mention the start end step Okay, so this is the syntax here start will tell from where you need to take the character from the string end will tell you where you need to stop. Okay, end is exclusive and is not included here step is nothing but incremental or decremental. Okay, so if here step is positive, then it will slice the string from the start inclusive till end that is exclusive and is not included 
and if step is negative then it will count backwards it will count from the backwards okay so i'll take an example so here if i want to get the substring this m u l okay so i need to mention the start and end here so if i mention start from where i need to start so here a is zeroth index and m is first index so i need to mention one okay colon next where i need to end so i want to get m u l so l is my last character okay so here a is zero m is one u is two l is three but here i need to mention four because here end is exclusive okay so if i enter now here we can see we'll get the substring m u l okay so here we didn't mention this step so it will take plus 1 okay positive 1 so if i take step here if i mention 1 and 4 and 2 okay so it will give m and l okay so it will print first m then it will see the increment that is 2 so it won't print u it will go to l and it will print that okay this step is same as in the range function okay so if i take the negative index then it will reverse this string okay if i take and one no need to mention as one because uh, as we know if i didn't mention the steps it will take one here what i did is here i didn't mention the start and end okay i left it empty now it will print all the character of the string because it will start from the beginning till end if i enter now here we can see it will print everything right so if i take the negative one there it will reverse the string and it will give the output so here we can see it will reverse the string and it will give the output because when we use the negative numbers as the step it will count from the backwards okay so we are using this syntax in our program so it will give the reverse string here i didn't mention the start and end because i want from the beginning to end if i didn't mention anything it will take the string from the beginning to end so here i need to mention that so here string name is string and here first i need to mention the start so i won't mention anything i'll take colon next i need to mention end but i won't mention end here here i'll take step as minus 1 so it will reverse the string and that reverse string will be stored in this variable so next step is i need to check whether the enter string and reverse string are same if s yes, then that is palindrome if not that is not a palindrome enter string is not a palindrome okay here i want to check whether the entered input that is string is equal to reverse string okay so i need to write the condition so i need to use an conditional statement so i'll use if else conditional statement here okay so i'll write if string is equal to equal to reverse string okay if yes then what i have to print string is a palindrome right if it reads same from the forward and backward then it is the palindrome so i need to print that else okay i'll take else part if this condition is not satisfied then i need to print as string is not palindrome okay all right now i'll save this and run this so enter a string first i'll enter madam okay we know that it is a palindrome string is palindrome yes it is correct right if you want to print reverse string also then after this you can print this
so now if i enter amuls string is not palindrome all right so next here this program is to check whether the enter string is palindrome or not but if i want to check a number so integer number is palindrome or not then how to do that so for that what i will do is i will use the same method but here i'll take integer input so i'll change this to number okay so and what i'll do is now the input is integer but there is no slice method for the integer number okay we can't use slice method on the integer number so for that what i'll do is i'll convert this integer number to string now okay so here str number okay so now if i run this and here just change the message okay so now if i enter the number like 1 to 1 okay reverse string reverse number is 1 to 1 number is palindrome okay so it is palindrome or you can use the mathematical operations and uh, you can reverse the string or number anything for that i already uploaded a video i'll give you the link in the description box go and check that okay so this is about the palindrome program so that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care